What's up guys, Juice Master here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a new prize cap FIFA episode. We've got a nice little team to play with and um, actually there's a live game this time. In the background you'll see the random players being selected and we've actually gone with a 5 to 25k price range this episode guys. So if you know 1,000 fire likes, that would be absolutely awesome. Let me know in the comments below what price cap I should do next. And finally, if you're to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And now then, here are the players that I have selected. We've gone with three informs this time, all on that one random page. And uh, three quite nice ones actually. Two of them being centre backs in the Barclays Premier League. And honestly, for value of money they're actually probably quite uh, good for that I mean I, I paid 26k for uh, Chris Smalling but with the price caps now I think it's like 10k uh, but he's a great great player in this game 6 of 4 as well some nice uh, height and pace then we have got Ashley Williams again looks an awesome awesome player for 11,000 coins that uh, for me could be an absolute steal and then we have got one that I've been looking at for a while Christian Teo's in form from Porto the only real letdown about him is the fact he has 3 star skill moves nevertheless 3 nice players and let's get straight into the team right as we always do we're going to start from the back and in goal we have got Fraser Force's new inform card I mean 6 of 7 is a tall tall player in goal absolute giant at the back and on the card he doesn't look too fantastic but hopefully in game he performs like he does in real life and obviously we've got the two selected players Ashley Williams he's got some nice pace 71 pace in the defender is absolutely fine for me as long as he's got a good defending and physical as well and then we've got Chris Smalling again 6 of 4 on him and very very nice pace 79 on him and also then the non-rare silver Karen Reckick but he's an absolute beast in the midfield then we've got a bit of a mixture of everything in the left mid we've got the Memphis to pay in form again he hasn't really done too much for me one goal and one assist in 11 games is not not very good going at all but a left mid he can't really do that much and we've got a new set of I've never tried before it's called Zayic and in game he's got some crazy crazy long shots and everything like that uh, for a silver card at least and a Herrera another card I actually really want to use four star skills four star weak foot and some very nice uh, dribbling on him and finally right mid the pace of Jesus Navas and finally then the front three it's got a lot of pace and it's also got a five star skill left forward we have got Kishna another five star skill I mean he's actually got six assists and one goal in eight games which is actually for me a decent return he's six or two as well with five star skill moves then we have got Vincent Abubakar you may be thinking Ross where is uh, Jackson Martinez but this guy look at his goal to gain 19 goals and 3 assists in 6 games for me he can't really fault that he's an absolute monster up front and of course Christian Terry one of the selected players and if you want to switch it up a little bit you can actually put Nathan Dyer in place of Jesus Navas let's get straight into a game and hopefully get a win right we're finally going to a game this guy's got a Bundesliga team uh, with the likes of Drax and Mayer Solomon Kalu and some, some very, very nice silvers in fact so let's get into the game and again we need to win this Okay, the lag. Oh my god, the lag is they're just literally letting through. Someone clues in, but Fraser forced it is big. But oh, if it's gonna lag like that, it's gonna be horrible. Okay, hold Nabi is absolutely screwing me over and clues in again. How is he this quick? And he's last off again. Okay, got a bit of room now. Let's make something of it. Abubakar. A little bit of a run through the middle. Touch. Can Ziyech finish? Yes, he can. Completely against the right play. We're 1 0 up. But it's a nice goal. I really need to move my microphone. I smacked my head as soon as I scored that goal. Please get that. Well out. No one's going, oh no, no, that's a great finish to make it 1-0. My defending, what is this? Okay, come on, Herrera, we need some support. The, the wingers just aren't moving. Although, Abubakar, get that touch in. Go on, Vincent. Take it further. One more touch and bang it. That's a great finish. That's what he does. Oh, there's a gap in the defence again. It seems to be Chris Smalling's getting caught out every time, but Fraser Forster, big save. We're going to have to go on defensive because at the moment we're getting caught out of the back massively. He's in again, just running around them. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, again, Fraser Forster's going big this game. Oh, Kishner, can he find Teo? Teo's got a lot of room now. Please, Christian Teo, finish this game. He's put it wide. Oh, Teo, can you get a second chance, please? Just keep running it. Oh, my God. That should be a pen, and he's given it. Come on, Abubakar. Slot it so make it 3-1. He's gone left, and that's a great pen hatch. I thought he was going to go wide, but 3 1, we're quite comfortable now. Oh no, he's running straight from kickoffs. No auto tackle. Oh my god, but Fraser Forster. That's another great ball. Oh, he's hit the post. So the final result was 3 1, and of course, her man match had to be Fraser Forster with 9.7. He made 13 saves for us, which is absolute quality. Uh, the rest of the players, the Bubka, done his part of his two goals, and uh, he actually got an assist on top of that as well. But the squad played all right, defensively a bit shaky, but it was solid. And a very quick glance at the final match stats. As you can see, 3 1 result, and actually had uh, less than half of his shots and less than half of his on target as well. Uh, we were quite clinical, and Abubakar done the business. And there is the team again, guys. But basically, like I said, the defensive side of things is actually quite shaky, but I honestly think that might be me uh, because I haven't really been playing FIFA much at all over the last couple of weeks, and I may be a little bit rusty on that department. But overall, it was very good on the attack, had some very nice pace up top, and uh, got the job done as well with that 3 1 victory, guys. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a like on 1000 Fire Lights, would be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, let me know what price cap I shoot in the next episode. And finally, if you're to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.